Tonight, a look at a new interactive app called Murder on the Midway. <laughs> when death hits the eternal circus, what will you choose to do? Sean French actually created the fantasy game from a real life chapter in his own story about running away from Maine to join the circus. <laughs> French now works as a video game writer and designer for Hyperkinetic Studios, which is based in Los Angeles. We caught up with him in his home studio in Limerick to talk about the new app and how his main roots inspired a career in the creepy. <laughs> My mother was a big Stephen King fan. Um, and his books were always around the house, and as a kid, I would read anything I get my hands on. They, they, you know, they, they'd come out in the middle of the night and find me sitting in the hallway reading the books by, you know, <laughs> by the light, trying not to get caught. Uh, I was just that kind of kid. And King books were around, and I, I dove into those maybe a little earlier than I should have. And it kind of it always fascinated me. I've, I've always loved horror and uh, kind of exploring the possibilities of what if. Did you genuinely try to run away and join the circus? I totally did. <laughs> Yeah, so what yeah, yeah. happened? I, I was 19 years old, and like a lot of teenagers who grew up in Maine, the first thing I wanted to do was get to the border. As soon as I was old enough, I'm like, I'm out of here, Fair I'm enough. done. I knew I wanted to be a writer, but I didn't have the skill set. I knew I wanted to make video games, but that wasn't really an industry yet. Um, and I was kind of lost. And I saw an ad in the newspaper uh, that the Shrine Circus was hiring roastabouts. And I'm like, I could totally be a circus roustabout. <laughs> like, I'm doing this. It was like the most me thing I could possibly do. Uh, no one in my life was surprised to hear I was running off with the circus. <laughs> um, and I also have a, a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder that is common among circus freaks. A lot of the classic circus freaks are actually Ehlers-Danlos people. Uh, the rubber man with like, the skin that stretches way out, that's a collagen deficiency caused by Ehlers-Danlos. A lot of contortionists have Ellis Danlos. So as soon as I saw it, I went immediately there and uh, interviewed with the, uh, the ringmaster, uh, Alain Zerbini, and got hired as a roastabout. And as we were wrapping up our interview, I asked if they ever did uh, apprenticeships um, for you know, different performing things, because I was a, not a performance caliber juggler, but I was a pretty good juggler for a teenager and, and really loved it. And he said, no, they didn't. I'm like, that's cool, that's cool. And three days later, I show up at the carnival and I've got my bags and everything I have is in, you know, in these two bags. And, and I say goodbye to my friend and he drops me off and leaves. And I walk in and the ringmaster goes, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want the job because we don't have apprenticeships. And he's, oh, I gave you a spot to someone else. Oh. I was devastated. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was 30 years ago. And even now, mention that it's like this hollow, just hole that, you know. And it felt like, and it still feels like, that I was robbed of this essential chapter in my backstory, you know? Sean French's life moved on. It took years, but this born storyteller finally broke into the video gaming industry. I'm the lead writer of a game called Epic Tavern for uh, Hyperkinetic Studios out in LA. And they're the creative team who made the uh, Spider-Man games on PlayStation 2, which were amazing games. It really set me up to be able to do Murder on the Midway as kind of a weekend project and kind of put some of the stuff that, you know, these industry vets have, have taught me to, uh, to practice on a project on my own. Murder on the Midway is available through the Tales app. It's an interactive story based on French's real life experience at the circus. It's been therapy for me, really to dive back into this great adventure that I missed and find a way to share it with players and let them go on the adventure that I didn't get to except with like werewolves and serial killers and <laughs> although who knows maybe the shrine circus had werewolves and serial killers and I, i'll never know because i didn't get to go let's talk about murder <laughs> on the midway this is obviously a story that's been sitting in your mind it's been part of you for many years yeah. so when did you finally start putting this to work here uh, it was about 18 months ago when i started working on the treatment for it um, i found a platform called the tales app where you can uh publish stories through and they'll create artwork for it and it plays like uh, kind of the classic choose your own adventure type stories in an interactive story in a werewolf story especially a first person one where you the, the reader the player are the werewolf you can do things that aren't possible in any other medium um, like I've got a werewolf mechanic system where uh, basically the wolf inside you levels up at a different speed than you do every time you give in to your primal urges your inner wolf becomes more powerful and you unlock new abilities and new powers and that sort of thing. But because it becomes more powerful, he becomes harder to control. And you might lose the ability to de-escalate a situation because the wolf doesn't want that. 
that the wolf is more powerful than you. So it creates this kind of series long balancing act where you're trying to get the most out of your abilities without losing yourself and kind of tipping over into a full monster. From comic books to film production to video gaming, Sean French has plenty of stories to tell, including one for other Maine kids. I had to move 3,000 miles to California, and then I failed, and then moved 3,000 miles back to Bethesda, Maryland to try and break in there, and failed as well. And we've reached a point with technology where this, that isn't necessary anymore. You don't have to travel a long way to fail. You can fail at home. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you, you can make stuff now and you can't get through the gatekeeper you can't get through but now the gates are down you, you don't even you climb over the rubble and get through yourself you don't need anyone's permission to make anything and uh, it's a great time to be a, you know, a creative person and a storyteller I think that's great advice for kids too is Absolutely. just you know you can do what you want just push for it just try for it and you know we get to meet so many interesting people on this show and I always love when they talk about something that happened early on usually teenage years or around their early 20s that really shaped you know the rest of their career and they didn't yeah. really know it at the time right he's a perfect example of that so yeah. it's fascinating to see yeah. how it plays out all right, right now, by the way, three episodes have been released for Murder on the Midway. Eventually, there will be 25. Wow. And if you're interested in playing, first, you have to download the Tales app and then search for Murder on the Midway. You can find more information in the 207 section of our website.